Our main story tonight, the railway children fighting for change. After the death of a teenager on this railway track in Weston, her friends demand better safety measures. The personal incident that happened to us was nearly two years ago now and by, at this point we kind of expected something to happen, to ha something to improve. We expected um, the right authorities to do something. Pedestrians have to cross the line every day to get to a new housing estate. We'll have the details. Hello, good evening. Friends of a teenager who was killed on a North Somerset level crossing have today taken their fight for better safety to Network Rail and local councillors. Evie Wright was only 15 when she died on the crossing near Western Supermare. Her group of friends have spent the two years since her death trying to get changes made so that no one else loses their life. Tracy Miller reports. Some of the trains come through here at 60 miles an hour. This crossing only uses kissing gates to stop people before they get to cross the crossing. There's no signs, there's no lights, that's all there is. Two years ago, Evie Wright was on her way home when she was hit by a train and killed here. Since her death, Evie's friends have been waiting for safety improvements to the crossing. None have been made. What happened to us hit our community hard and it hit us all very personally in a um, de degree, and a huge degree. And that's, why, that's what we've been motivated about, not only to get justice for what happened to us, but also to prevent this ever happening in the future, prevent everyone, uh, anyone to not feel this way, to not have to experience what we experienced. Evie, like many other children, cross here between the schools and the housing estate. When the housing estate was built, a footbridge was required as part of the planning conditions. It was never built. It's absolutely appalling that after 20 years we still haven't got the pedestrian footbridge delivered. Uh, it's appalling that two years after Evie's uh, accident, uh, action hasn't been taken on this site. And I really applaud the young people for, for what they've done. And I think public pressure, media interest, the continued campaign by the young people and the determination from the council to really lead on this and make things happen, um, I'm sure we'll make progress. The group of friends set up a petition and found huge local support. It's not very nice yesterday, it was so foggy here, you could hardly see in front of you and I was really worried uh, about crossing over with my daughter. It's, it's incredibly dangerous really because obviously it's so difficult to see the trains coming and you rely solely on the sounds and obviously it's you know it makes it much more dangerous. They hope that in this meeting there'll be some real progress. Well we're live outside uh, Western Town Hall here and the meeting has just finished literally about half an hour ago and I'm with Evie's friends who've been in with Persimmon, Network Rail and the council and I believe you've got some breaking news Lewis. What's uh, happened? Yeah so the two crossings are very high risk and luckily we've come to a decision with the other parties and we're going to finally get some justice for Evie. Yes, and what's the details on that then? Um, so we went into the meeting with the uh, initial possibility that the crossings could be closed, which is obviously highly inconvenient for um, people in the local area. Um, but we came to the conclusion that that is definitely not happening quite early on. So it's just on to long term and short term procedures to get justice for Evie. Really? Yeah. So what does that actually mean? Are you going to get your footbridge? Uh, yeah, so basically uh, now, now we have a, a dedicated project team in North Somerset Council and we've got a, a project teams for the short term, so that will be projected for about uh, April 2020, April 2021, that is the short term uh, aspects, but also the, uh, the footbridge, which is long term, and that's projected or even ambitious for about 2024 and 2029. Yeah. Wow, that's fantastic. Was it, was it a bit scary? It was a bit scary going in, but um, yeah, they were all very friendly, and uh, we heard that they're more scared of us than we're scared of them, yeah. so <laughs> that's fantastic. So it shows you perseverance works. Tracy, thank you. Some very, very dedicated and impressive young people there. Thank you.